Yo, yo, we're back. Dunk subscriber review. Subscriber dunk reviews are back. But guess what? Me and Barth are here this time. Let's run it. You guys ask for it, we deliver. What other channel does that? I mean, a lot of channels do that, but dunk subscriber dunk reviews? We're back, baby. We'll find a good, we'll get a good system to get you guys uh, all seen. And also whoever wants to enter, we'll figure it out. We're just, we're, we're killing it. That's all I know. We're killing it. And if you don't enjoy this, you don't leave a comment. You don't subscribe. I don't know what to do. One dunk tip two. <laughs> You're supposed to do it with me. Ready? Three, two, one. Dunk tip two. Tuesday. <laughs> Bro, how do you do that? <laughs> we're back. All right, we're back. Let's run it. Today we're doing dunk. I can't say it right. Subscriber dunk reviews. We're back. Barth, what's popping? What's new? How was the dunk session? How did the picks come out? Better or worse than you thought? I didn't actually dunk this weekend. I went and played basketball in a rec league for the first time in like like two and a half years. Dude, or something that like sounds that. fun. I was watching. Uh, what's his name? The real freaking flyer, Guy Dupuy, playing. I always see him playing pickup games, or now he's in that league, and it looks so fun. Yeah, you know what's funny is that's the same gym that Isaiah Rivera postered someone on a putback dunk. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you think that gym's got some energy in it or something? What do you think the deal is probably. over there? Probably. Or, or lower gravity because they don't have the ozone layer there. So. I hear you. Oh, where's that? In Australia. Oh, okay. <laughs> the ozone layer. <laughs> Yo, what? So, wait, how did your rec game go? Uh, good. I scored like 30 something. Nobody points. cares about the points. I, How many dunks? I had three dunks. <laughs> what? Only one of them counted. Why? Um, and I almost Blake Griffin someone. Oh, uh, and you're not filming and these games. I did not film this game. I, I will film can't the rest. Believe it. Yeah, I know. I, but I like, I came to the league, right? And I thought I was actually playing with someone else. I thought yeah. I was playing with some of these guys that were doing this like ball is life East coast squad thing. Right. I had the numbers mixed up. So this was just some guy I met at LA Fitness, and so yeah, I just ended up playing with them. <laughs> Wait, so it, did, it was fun. Was though. he excited? Did he know? Was it okay? Did the p person you meant you thought you were with was better or worse than the person you're playing with? Worse, but he's a cool guy. So wait, so the guy you're playing with is worse. So he's just like fucking hyped that you're on the team. Sorry for the yeah, yeah. Like, like he's been trying to get me to go play with him for literally probably a year. Oh my goodness! And I've just turned him down every weekend. Yeah, but Wait. this one weekend I was like, "What am I doing? I'm doing nothing." Like, tell I didn't us about all today. the dunks in the games. And you had thirty points, bro. Yeah, I Dang. made a lot of threes. I was like Dang, six for bro. nine from threes. <laughs> Sixty nine, bro. Um, yeah, but it was fun, man. I and so I'm going to Vegas this weekend to play in a celebrity game. Wow! So I've been trying to play more because I want to play really well. Do you guys so. realize who we have on the pod right now, baby? We got a celeb. I'm that guy. He's I'm the, the dude. He's the dude. They don't even real, the they really don't even realize who they're listening to. And I'm not just talking I'm about you. I'm literally going to score me. three points at this celebrity game. But at least I'll get to hang out with Chris Staples. So that's wait, wait. What's the celebrity good. game for? And we got to get back to the your dunks in game. Um, it was it's for ball dogs. Okay. I don't know if you've seen that Instagram, no. but it's just I don't know. It's a fundraiser thing. So I'll have to check it out, dude. Good luck. What's and you're just playing a game pickup or a dunk session or what's happening? Uh, I'm just playing like the game, <laughs> but I'll dunk in warm up. The game so. of life, baby. That's how we play it. Yeah. Um, and Always also, playing. so tell us the three dunks that and one that one that counted. Okay, so the first one's my favorite because this, I was playing defense on a guy. Yep. And and I like got in front of him. Yep. And they called a blocking foul on me, and I I, I was like you know oh I was like in front of him because yeah. he was really slow. No offense to this guy. <laughs> yeah. And just, just and humans. um he he told me. That I need to learn how to move my feet. Oh boy, here we go. Which made me very angry because Barth playing basketball don't, is angry. Barth, don't make Barth so, angry. Everyone someone on knows our team that. missed a layup, and I like two hand like tip dunked it really hard yeah. over him. Wait, someone then, missed a layup, and you did that? Yeah, and that counted. Yes. Okay. That was the one that counted. So your favorite one so counted. Then I had another one where someone missed like a mid range jump shot, right? But they got fouled. But I caught it with my left hand and dunked it like over the back of someone, like tip dunked it, and it was nasty. But that didn't count because that guy got fouled. Oh my! But my God. teammates were like freaking out. With so the that left, was nice. and yeah, with the left. Uh. And then um, oh, I'm sorry. Those were the only two dunks. And then the third one was like in the end of the game. That same guy who had talked trash to me yeah. tried to block me on a fast break, 
and I like like full cocked the yeah. ball back and like got body, so I got boosted and I like threw it and I was like I was like really far from the rim, yeah. but it back rimmed off and like shot up and hit the ceiling. Oh, like, it would have did been they go nuts? The grossest dunk I had ever done in game. What city was this? This was in uh, in Clearwater, where I'm from. Wow, and it's so it was a good, good competition. So the team we played was actually like decent. Um, but our team just played better basketball. They actually gotcha. had more better players. We mm-hmm. just played better basketball. So. so, I was gonna say you literally just said that that would have been your best game dunk you've ever had. Ever. But you were yeah. you're a veteran game dunker. Oh, I have some nasty games. Yeah. Dunks. <laughs> so that's saying a lot. Especially back when like I only played like before I started dunking, I had a lot of really in good like good in game dunks. Here on this podcast, Barth, we like to go behind the scenes and we like to give the listeners, the viewers, what they want because if they're really tuning in, we're gonna give them good stuff. So I want to let them in on this. Facts. You got a lav mic. This is true. You're a you can, vicious game dunker, right? And are you gonna combine the two? Let them know that. That is in fact going to happen. That's gonna. I am literally thinking about taking that thing with me to Vegas. Yeah. And like in the celebrity game, being mic'd up. Do you I need me be to be there? Video. Do you want to be? Dude, when is it? How many days? Uh, it's just Sunday. Give me the dates. But I'm gonna go Saturday. Sunday at what time? This Sunday. Uh, this Sunday. It's and Passover. The game. <laughs> I don't know I'm when Jewish. the game is. I'll have to get back to you on when the game is, but it's like okay. it's just Sunday afternoon, and then I'm coming back okay. Monday morning. Okay. The mm, flights are might cheap. Be able to make like that work. Bucks. Okay, I might be able to make that work. That would be sick if I filmed you. Take pictures. Would you pay me? We'll figure it out. We'll do the logistics on the side. All right. Let's. Anyway, are you gonna so, pay me? Yeah. Exactly. So listen, celebrity game ball dogs. Did they reach out to you, or did you? How did that work? They just saw your talent. So they reached out to me because of, um, I think it was because of uh, Tyler Ray and Chase. Nice. Vegas. Yeah. So Chase lives in Vegas. Right. And I think he talked to them and said that I'd be a good person for That's it. That's awesome, so. dude. So they're just playing and you could, you're going to show out, bro. And you're going to freaking kill it. Dude, yeah. I'm hoping I score another 30. Can you, so. uh, can you uh, name any of the celebs besides Chris Staples? Yeah, I can. Uh, so Meta World Peace is going to be what? there. What? In the game? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. And, um, that's wild. Dude, here I'll let's I'll look up the whole thing for you. It's in my story somewhere. Um, Holy shoot, dude, that's awesome. So it's gonna be Dizzy Wright is there, like the ad lib guy. Yeah, don't know him. Sorry. Um, Sir Isaac's gonna be there. Love him, dude. Sir Prince Isaac, Tay, might be my favorite. Don't Kenny know Dobbs, know him. Max is nice. White oh. Iverson. Oh, I know. Julian nice. Newman, Jumpman Big, Jordan Sutherland. Nice. Um, Jaden Newman. Uh, is that the uh, Chris sibling? Staples, Chevy Woods, Bone Collector. Oh, Bone Collector, dude. And there's like a bunch of these like rapper people slash influencers that I don't really know. Um, okay. Stefania, I don't know how her last name is, but she's like the, she's like, she's on Venice Ball a lot. She was that like Instagram the basketball girl. No, she has dark hair. Mm, I might have seen, I mean, I'm, I've seen all the Venice um, stuff. Some. Court Holloway, which is Ivy Court. Ivy Court, baby. I didn't even realize he was going. Wait, just did now. you have you ever met him? Have you ever met Staples? I have never met Staples, and I've never have I met Ivy Court. No, I don't think I've met Ivy Court. Nice, that's awesome. By the way, I don't know about you, but I'm focused on Dunk Camp. I am also focused on Dunk Camp. Okay. Like I have this and I have two more like smaller events the weekend after that. And then I'm not accepting anything and I'm <laughs> only training for dunk camp. <laughs> I actually talked dude, to Andy about dude, this. Way too serious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nope. I'm just I'm, kidding. I'm popping off this. Year's I dunk can't camp. wait. Guys behind the scenes. If you see this now, you see this building up. It's friggin' March. Okay. It's March. We have four and yeah, a half but months. But I have till it's... August and that gives me four and a half months, four months in a week. Yeah, that's a that's a perfect time for like one nice cycle phase. Of yeah, a cycle. We're gonna be like you're gonna be, dude. March by the end of April, you're gonna be a freaking caterpillar into a cocoon. For the next two months, you're gonna be cooking in that cocoon. And the last mm-hmm. month, dude, you're gonna be blossoming. Dunk camp butterfly barth 
Heard it here, foe. You heard it here first, bro. Heard Butterfly it, heard it here, foe. Dude, I, dude, I just, I just want to beat my PB on my vert. Like, don't say I, beat I my PB, not dude. Nobody knows what that means. Over my PB since the first dunk Stop camp. Stop saying PB. PB. <laughs> PR. There you go. I'm just messing. I just beat PB. It sounds like too many acronyms, but it's one, one. I like PB. And I J? like PB and J. Yeah. How do wow, we, we went it? to the same place. Uh, okay. PB, How do I make what it? was your PB? 4-4? Four, four? Uh, my PB was, uh, I believe it was 44.5. Me too. It was either, no, it was 43.5. I knew the first higher. Camp. I mean this guy. By the I, way, B. I definitely should be able to get like a 46. Butterflies B's PB is 43.5 right now. Liquid B's PB. Yeah. Equals I'm going to fill them in on the, on the liquid bees because that's what we do on this podcast. We fill them in. The liquid bees is a story. When we went to Utah, we were talking about uh, something and there was fish and there was like a, it was a lake, right? It was a giant lake. We're like, how is there okay. fish oh, in this so lake? I'll fill in that part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the whole thing we were talking about was how do fish get in this lake at the top of a mountain? Right. And I had, I know the answer and I filled Bill Because we were talking about time. pollination. Yeah. Well, here's the thing is that when sometimes birds, um, <laughs> sometimes birds bring grab a fish and as they're flying they drop a little fish into the lake right and bees what they do is they take pollen and as they go back to the the beehive they drop a little pollen and it creates more plants so fish are basically liquid bees does it make yes. sense it did bees when i first of the said seas. it bees of the seas is pretty good and except you're the that it's knees. a lake <laughs> true basically mountain fish aka liquid bees Yes. It doesn't make sense anymore, but it's fine. But that's how it and goes. And it should be a t-shirt, I feel like. I'll make it. I'll wear it to dunk camp and only a select few <laughs> that will That would find actually it. be amazing. <laughs> I'll make it Liquid Bees PB for Butterfly Barth. Oh, my God. We're hey. losing our minds. Okay. Uh, there was something else I wanted to bring up, though. So, dunk camp. Either way, I wanted to get hype for people <clears throat> because I said this on, my, on something on my podcast this morning or something, but I was hype about this. Hamstrings still... In the works. It's not better yet. But mm -hmm. the hips are in the works. But here's the thing. Mm. My quads are overdeveloped because I forced my way to a 42.5 with bad technique. I had good footwork, good approach, but bad muscle mechanics. Now I'm diving deep, opening the hips, opening the hamstrings, hamstrings, lengthening them, lengthening the glutes. I'm going to get all that power with all this muscle and strength and then utilizing all that bootiness and hamstring power potential to jump higher than ever. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Imagine Boom. what I can do with a full length body, fully healthy, in tuned muscle mechanics. And jumping with the same aggression. It's game over, dude. It's game over. I'll be like Sir You're Isaac. You going to have a 90-inch vert? 90-inch vert, dude. I No, but honestly, I feel like if I unlock these hips, when I unlock, be impeccable with your word, folks. When I unlock the hips, get the hamstring lengthened, I really feel like a limitless because then I could lift correctly, deadlifts and squats with proper form, and I can go hard. That's not a problem. I go hard, get, those, get the deadlift to 500, get the squat to 400, deep. And, dude, I feel like I, I just get stronger, and next thing you know, I'm just flying higher than ever. Yeah. Simple. Dude, I'm actually so weak compared to you. It's actually kind of nuts. I don't think that's true. Want to bet? Dude, your legs. I was talking about your legs today. I talked about your legs on my podcast today. How does that feel? Kind of kind of nice. Dude, I literally said this. Um, or maybe it was my dunk project, actually. I said this. I said... The goal is to get as strong as you can by being the lightest you can, right? Mm -hmm. And packing as much muscle as you can. But, and so most people you see like Isaiah and Jay Clark are good examples. They look slim, but they're strong as hell. And I mm -hmm. say, even Barth, he's not a bulky guy. He's not as bulky. But if you look at his damn legs, dude, they're like yeah. the most athletic All my ripped. In my legs. Yeah, you have insanely strong legs and just like you know, ripped. But, but, but see, what's crazy is you think that. But my actual squat relative to my body weight is not that great. Okay, but I think your strength is balanced. I'm very and springy. Springy, but also I feel like like my strength, I could get up maybe more weight, but it's not proper and it's not using the right things. You know what I mean? Mm, like when you're yeah. using, like if you did a 300, like 200 pound deadlift with perfect form, like all whatever you're supposed to do, and someone else does a 400 pound deadlift and they're fuck, like, like, like ripping their spine yeah, but apart. But their spine cracks. Right. Yeah. It's like who's stronger, <laughs> you know? It's yeah. like it's harder to do it right. Uh, dude, I've been, 
this is my training sh- shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Um, this is my life shenanigans. So mm-hmm. we talked on the phone earlier. Life shenanigans. And I wanted to get into this. But my, my life thing right now is slow down. Oh, yes. Okay, so real quick before you get into this. We're going to okay. talk about this, and then we're going to hit the subscriber dunk reviews, and it's a wrap. So let's talk about slow down, because this is good okay. stuff. Yeah, this will be this will be pretty fast, even though we're talking about slow. There he goes, so, folks. Um, yeah, so this big realization I've had recently is that, like, slow down. You got a lot of time to do what you want to do. Like, I've, like, I've really slowed down my training, and I'm, like, really focusing on the quality, kind of like what you talked about. Mm-hmm. This is something I've known for a long time, but... um. It's making me so much happier to like kind of just slow down and enjoy things in the moment. I'm not so like I want to kill dunk camp and everything, but I'm not so worried about this far off goal that's like four months away. I'm more worried about like this week, like how am I going to weave these trainings together? And every day I'm like, ooh, like I really want to feel this lift and I want to, I just want to experience. You're talking my language. You know that. Dude, I was telling, yeah, because we were talking, we were talking about the ladies, everybody. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. like, it's the same thing with the ladies. No need to rush relationships. Just have, just have fun, talk, learn Mm -hmm. about people. Dude, like you, you can't know things now. You have to, things, some things need time. Like for your lifts, if I told you, you need to get stronger, which you know you have to do. You can't do it in one workout. I said that today, too, on my, on my Instagram. I was like, you, I'd rather you have tiny, consistent workouts every single day. What you just said, I literally posted a YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram about. <laughs> We're on all platforms. Me and Barth are really killing it. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about the it. Editing go gods. Tell us more. I mean, that's really about it. Like, so I'll ask you it, this because I love this answer. I love this question. How do you stay focused on those long-term go- goals but focus your attention in the moment? What helps you? Well, what helps me is just writing down my goals. I have all my goals written down. That's huge. People so, don't realize the power of that. Did you just start yeah. doing that or have you been doing that for a long time? I have done that since I started dunking. Like when, when, when I first was going to go to dunk camp, I wrote down, I'm going to kill dunk camp. Yes. Like that was my goal. And then I I did achieve that. And like my whole thing was like, I'm going to get known and I'm going to make this my job. That was my whole thing. Right. And, um, and now like I do the same thing, like, but it gets more complicated now because I've got like, I'm not just a dunker now. I do the coaching. And so I have like coaching goals and I have like, so I kind of split it out. I have like personal goals. I have my like coaching goals and then i have just kind of like general life goals um and some of them are really long term like getting married having kids um some of them are shorter term like do dunk camp like kill dunk camp some of them are really short term like every day i have a like what i call like a battle plan and i I just like it's literally like i wake up and i look at it and that's what i have to do that day it doesn't matter what happens that has to happen so, Tell them, B. Yeah, dude, I'm spitting the facts. If you, so I'm telling you, the power of that is so convenient. And then at the end of the day, you look at your list and you're like, did I do all these things? And then it's not to hate on yourself because things do happen, right? Right. But, but say I look at my list and I'm like, oh, well, I didn't do X, I didn't do Y, and I didn't do Z. Yeah. Well, what did I do instead? Oh, so last week, instead of working out, I watched anime, <laughs> I played a video game. Yeah. And like, you know, whatever else. And how does that make you did feel? That, did that go towards my goal that day? Right. No? Okay. Remove that from your list and refocus on the things that you do want. Um, it's huge. And I don't know, man. It's it's helped me a lot. So That's awesome. I, I can't stress that enough. I, it's hard for me. That's why I like coaching personally, like the way I do like one-on-one things. Because mm-hmm. when you do one-on-one I can work with somebody like that. Like I can work with them, say like, what are your goals? And literally help them tangibly do it. Because it, when I s- tell it, I think people do it. But then it's the it's the analysis of it. That's really where the magic mm-hmm. is. And the consistency. I can't stop with the consistency because when, you do, when you do it in the... In the uh, in the moment, right? If you do, I mean, in the morning, and then you do it at night too. Now you're every. Now you're in a cycle where it's just a habit that you're doing it. Yep. Uh, goals in the morning, goals at night. It's you're nonstop thinking about yeah. it. And and we were talking about this too earlier. Everything's coming together. Here and we go. Like, like, 
the little things matter so much, but in the sense of like your mentality towards life, like, like literally what I just said is a true thing. Like I, I ate some candy, I had some soda yeah, and like I watched some like TV instead of doing something I should have done for work. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, I looked at myself and I was like, did that, did that make me happier? Like, did that, did I improve from that? Right. The answer was no. Yeah. And then, so I just stopped that. And, and then like, so today I went extra hard. I was like, I was like, I'm not letting that happen again. Not today. I'm doing all this stuff. And I like killed today. I like, yeah. I did so much today and progress is happiness. Like, it feels so good. But, but like you would think that like, Oh, you just drank a Dr. Pepper. It's not a big deal. You're right. It's not a big deal. But if I drink that Dr. Pepper once and then it makes it easier the next time I go to do it. And so it's best to just nip just it. stay in line. Yeah. It's so hard. I, I love that sentiment of, I always say it, the energy is always moving. So even if you had the Dr. Pepper, it's not like a stagnant thing. That's just one. It's like now you're moving this no. way. You're slowly moving yeah. this way. Like, like lots of people will think like if they don't do something, well, it's not like they did something bad. Right. Or it's not like they did something to go against it. But doing nothing is a choice yep. to go against whatever you were trying life, to do. Life is a series of small choices. It's all every single moment you have a choice. I like when uh, Deepak Chopra says this for people that don't listen to my podcast. Deepak Chopra, every single moment you have an infinite amount of choices. But every single moment you have a choice. Right now I could st- stop talking. Right now I could yell. Right now I could close my computer. Right now I could jump off my balcony. You have an infinite amount of choices. And every single choice compounds into the next. Every single one. And I love that. And if people can be aware yep. of that, it changes your life. All right, let's do dunks. Unless you want to say All one right. more thing. All right, so bear with me while I... Here we go. Oh, you got to enable share, share screen share. I got you. I got you. All right. He's hijacking so, the podcast. Here we we'll just... Uh... Here we go, baby. Live action. Here we go. I'm excited for this. Or we're gonna have we a list, next. a way to submit your videos in the description of this video. Yeah. And if not, oh, just you know DM what? me or Barth. I, I'll make an email, and you can email me your videos. Okay, that works. And it'll make it easier. And and the um, name of the email will be in the comments or in the description, so you'll see it. Or I'll put it on the screen here. It's yeah, e- we make like it easy for you. Right? We'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So the first one is Imar Lakota. Imar Lakota. Um, here we go. Little little Zach oh, Levine, little cuff to- one hand. All right. Boom. So, yeah, we'll play this again. Here we go. Playing again smooth. But got a little windmill. Ooh, windmill with the left. I like the small ball. I like this little alleyway, too. Dunking on his poor friend. Didn't give him a run up. Oh, and my God. Okay, I just want to run back to that one. <laughs> this this is with the bigger ball. Yeah. And he's going off two feet. So Right, left. And he's doing with it with the, the left. left. I mean, his friend be hit the ground before he <laughs> even dunked it, so... Big Where did he get that hoop? Look at these hoops on the side of these walls. Dude, they're just they're Dude, there's nothing, hoops. There's nothing I can better respect than, it. I can respect it. Dude, there's no better feeling than dunking on your friends. Right? That is a fact. Dude, I've like, dunked on my friend before. My best friend's been dunked on by me. And yeah. oh, Lord, it is. Barth. Uh, funny story. Thanks, I Michael. was always the Shout shortest. Shout out to Michael Hoffman. Michael, love you. Shout out. We know you're listening. Hey, by the way. I used to be the shortest of my friends, pretty much still. In. Actually, I don't know. I'm average now, but I was always the shortest growing up, and I would always dunk on people. When low rims got pulled out, it was the best because I got to shine because it's like I'm the short one. I'm not supposed to dunk on you, yet I do. And, and I you're yoked. So, I mean, when you go dunk on people, it's like. Well, now I'm yoked. Back then, I was like, dude, I'm telling you, I would like dunk on it. I had trampoline basketball. I was, it was crazy. You've seen the highlights. All right, play me the next one. Tom Dunks. Go ahead. All right, yeah, to the next one. All right, Tommy this Boy. is Tom Dunks. We his, all know him. His Instagram is literally at Tom Dunks. So, Look at this guy. Hey. Oh, he's killing gotta it. got to make this bigger. He's absolutely me, killing it. Ex- yeah, he's been getting really good. He's been getting so good. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, all right, hold that on. windmill is just disgusting. It was kind of such a... Oh, that's all it is, though. All right. Thank you, B. Oh, my gosh. Can I... Here we go. Yeah. But such an yeah, interesting angle, that. but he destroyed it. Yeah, and he's dunking on the right side yeah, with yeah, his yeah. right hand from a right left. That is going, weird. Going against his spin rotation. 
Nasty. Good finish, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Tom's been you. killing it. He actually almost hit it between the legs. I think it was yesterday. I think he was inspired by us to actually start his dunk journey, which is amazing, like YouTube channels. I don't know if it was mine. It might have been mine specifically, actually. I don't want to take all the credit, but I mean, I do inspire people. But I think yeah, he I, told I think me he a dunk with Isaiah right now. Yeah, he's killing so. it. But it's just wild to like have somebody watch a YouTube and then just insanely just make progress when they were like, I don't even know if I could dunk. And then they're going freaking nuts. Yeah, I mean, that was me. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, Fonda he's gonna, be, he's gonna be me. All right, so we're going to Havelka. Oh. He actually banged this, dude. We're watching this is why this got the in, world, he bro. Oh, I love it. And he had a little pop off with a scream. So I mean, great form, great technique. Looks like me a little bit. Yeah, he does kind of look like your yeah, windmill. He, he actually looks like yours too. You had a distance one, I think. Ball is life posted or something that you were like ah, super far. Yes. Don't say, ah, oh, yes, like it's a freaking, I don't know, we're at T. We kind of are. Ball is life. Ah, oh, yes, that's windmill. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> All right, this is definitely, I think, the best one if I remember this Nolan correctly. Nolan Larson. So, I'm going to oh, close my eyes until it's full screen. screen, okay? Tell me when it's ready to hit play. Do it. Oh, we got a double so, up action. Here we go. Yeah, I think he did a... Oh! That style was nasty. That is a weird dunk. So, is that ten feet? First dude? off, shout out to this guy filming. Yeah, that guy's he's dope. like got the biggest grin ever. Yeah, but um, he didn't do anything. So though. I just want to point out the way that he like did this. Yeah, he went from like two hands then to a windmill. Yeah, it's like a two hand windmill then one. finishes That's one. pretty spicy. I like that. I do two hand windmills are nasty. There was this guy. Remember in the in, when. Remember those days of, I all remember one guy named Gabe York. There was like those classic high school yes. mixtapes. tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had nasty in game hey, dunks in high after school. this last video, can you pull up a Gabe York highlight and we'll run through that too? Dude, I'll just do it right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Finish with Ashish. I think this was uh, not a dunk. Okay. Well, let's just watch it anyway. I think so this is actually one ready. of my clients sending me a jump review. Let's do it. This is what you so. get when you get me and Barth. Just do, just do, run it through once. Hey, okay. Two hands so there you go. He's thing. going off one foot. I'd say more he's knee got, drive. He's kind of a speed jumper. He's got that yeah. funky butt kick. I'd say more knee drive. Really good arm swing. And you, But you can see how he's kind of reaching. He's not really optimal. Go a little up more with it. Barth, what do you got? I honestly think it looks pretty good. He's just a little too focused on jumping forward and yeah, not jumping up. Exactly. Which for him probably just means he's running a little too fast. Also, I think that his arm swing could be better i think it's kind of laxed right here and then he tries to make up for it at the end and just extends out kind of lazily right um i already coached him on this though that's pretty much what i told him so beautiful okay run that gabe york all right let me just pull up a browser and uh gabe i'm york. really excited for gabe york bro this is what i bet this is what i need in my life i haven't seen gabe york in forever if you guys don't know gabe york if your girl don't Here. know Gabe York, she's too young for you, bro. Oh gosh, Alley dunk, ad dunk of the year. Yeah, we'll skip this. Ball is life, baby. Our boys. Here we go. This is oh, this is hype. It's lagging for this me. This was but it's his okay. nasty alley oop. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? How is that real? How is he not a legend? How is he not in the NBA for one dunk? I, I know people say that it doesn't make any sense. He should be in the NBA for like one play. But that play, dude, put him put him in. Put him in the league. Well, I think he played in college somewhere. I think so too, but just put him and in I the league. I think he ended though. up going overseas. I'm not totally sure though. I don't keep up with players too often. Yeah. Just but put him it's in the league. You know who's like, this okay. is so nasty. You know, you know who I love, who I hope you know? Who? Oh my god, that's insanity, dude. Kiwi Gardner. <gasps> <laughs> Can we run it? Yes. We gotta run it, because this is good for the Hold up. Well, let's rip it. let's just run a quick highlight tape. You're a screen recording, right? Because it's mine's lagging, but I know I have seen his yeah, highlights yeah, times. People don't remember Kiwi Gardner, dude, and he needs more respect. Here we go, bro. Am I wrong there? No, you're not wrong. Dude, Yair he does is need more finest. Respect. Look at this dude. He's 5'7", and that's a legit 5'7". That's not a dunker's 5'7", where like they're really 5'9". Yeah, yeah. This guy is 5 freaking 2 it looks like. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Best dunks of Those all time. Light. Best dunks of all time. This is how I want to dunk. Barth, the way he dunks off two feet, 
in traffic in fast breaks to like this is yeah, just running one. full speed dude he's got nastier dunks go to the one on the right right there four minutes this one yeah and then we'll wrap it up this is too good though i don't copyright me all you want dude i'm watching kiwi oh is this whole mix yeah tape? we're watching the mixtape watch this look at that what is that Yo, that's light what is that dude if i could be him for a couple days i'd, sh- I'd I honestly sh- wonder what that feels I'd like sh- i'd shave off all my skin bro i don't need it look at this look at this oh jesus look at wow. he dunks ridiculous Dude, he kind of reminds me of uh, Anthony Height. Look at this. Yeah, he does. I mean, they jump the same, but like this, uh, he had one dunk, dude, where he took off with two hands and just, I'm um, like, he literally dunks with two and just hung. And that's all, it, like, he makes basic dunks all in game look like a dream. Like, the way he just dunks in game with basic dunks is all I want to do. Imagine him two inches look taller this. and just like 10 more inches of vert and you have T dub, so. That's true. That's true. This guy's close oh, to it, though. T day, he can't really dunk on anybody, but this guy. But th- this is not even Ooh. the mix I like. There's another mix of him that's even better. Ugh. There's a mix of him at like this pro am that's just insane. We're gonna become basketball highlight. I would, dude. I'd love reviewers. it. That's what we are. Find one more, because I want. I want you to see that. I think it's like a pro am. Scroll down. Oh, right there. Dominates the pro am. Try that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Oh, dude. Have you seen Progressive. this one? Progressive. There you go, Flo, killing it. Can we get ripped off YouTube for this? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but we're commentating on it, right? That's how, that's how this works? Ooh. dude. Yeah, wh- yeah. You can have clips. You can commentate. It okay. doesn't matter. Whatever, dude. Okay, look at this. What I literally reviewing? read the guidelines. Yeah, I know. I did too, but they're so confusing. Because uh, my my YouTube account's about to be able to like monetize. Be monetized nice, starting bro. tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I want you to see these dunks. They're insane. There's oh. one dunk you'll see it, dude. He gets in the guy's face and he's way bigger than him. It's lagging hard for me, but it's all good. I know it. Oh my god, that step back. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh here. Oh my god, in game. He did the nice clean oh my reverse. Goodness, that pass though. Yeah. <laughs> he's out of his mind. Dude, I feel like it's hard to guard people who are that short. I I don't think it's possible. They're, they're sneaky. All right, it's lagging hard, but I just want to see this freaking. I'm just waiting for this dunk to happen. I know. I don't know if I'm lying or what's happening, but. There's so many mixtapes. There's so many spin moves. (laughs) Show me the dunks, Kiwi. Scroll ahead. See if you find anything. That's what I was trying to do. I. These, like his. Imagine trying to be in front of him, though. Like you said, like he's so small. How, imagine even trying. Oh, this move was ridiculous. I remember that one. Like, he, Jeez Louise. You just walk under my legs. I want to. I, I, I like would love to watch him live. Somewhere, it'd be at the end. This is the game, though. This is this was like the the the. Oh, here it is. No, Rip. there's another dunk though, where he goes two hands and just. He gets in the guy's face. Wow, that was it? Okay, great. Last summer, maybe that. Oh, I think it's that one. I think that's that what was it. it. The one that said last summer. But that's really it. Okay, we'll really end it on that one. But you guys can leave whenever you want. But this is the... Oh, there. this is the dunk yeah, right there. Yeah. No, that's not the two-handed one, is it? Oh! Bless. All right. I just that's closed it. it. Thank you, B. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. Look, Shoot us an email. We'll get you guys going. We'll get you hooked up. We want to see what you want to see. What do you want to see? We'll subscribe to Subscribers Reviews. We have it's, everything's really good. We're going to have a great day. Everybody's having a really good time. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Barth, what you got to say, baby boy? He's a butterfly now, baby. Uh, check our Instagrams for that. <laughs> how to send in for the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say. And also to everyone else who everyone who did send though, thanks for sending. I just didn't know how many yeah. to pick, but we'll come up with a thing. Also, and- just comment some funny stuff. We put a lot of work into this, and if you leave us some comments in our on anything on, he just posted on three platforms before this podcast. So comment something for Barth. Call him Butterfly Barth. Call him weird. Call me weird things. Roast some. Pick something out of this podcast that we don't even remember and comment it, and it'll make our day, and it'll fuel us for next time. I'm telling you, it really makes us feel so 
fueled up with energy when you do that. Barth, if you got a comment from someone you don't even know that I says, hey, Butterfly interact. Barth. I just want to interact. <laughs> we really do. But this is a lot of fun. So thank you guys, and we'll see you next freaking week.